What's going on YouTube, it's Luke Waters back in another video and today we are going to be working on changing out the clutch fluid on this 2001 C5 Corvette 5 speed. <laughs> We had a video of this at the drag strip and we saw a lot of clutch smoke coming out the back so we decided to change the clutch fluid and as you can see this fluid is pretty dark and nasty so we're going to work on getting this exchanged right away. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use this contraption here which is a vacuum pump to suck out the old fluid. We're going to put in new fluid, pump the clutch, what, 50 times or so and then uh, put in new fluid, check it and keep swapping it out until this fluid turns clear. Let's get started. Okay, so what you do is you stick this little rubber hose inside the fluid and all you do is start pumping it. Yeah, there you go. Comes right out. And as you can see, it is very disgusting. Okay, that's what all I can get for now. We're gonna go ahead and put some more fluid in it. All right, and here's the fluids we're gonna use. We're gonna use DOT4 brake fluid. Uh, we're gonna start off with the SuperTech to get all the old crap out and then top it off with some really nice Prestone once it's all cleaned out. Nice and easy. I don't want to spill this all over the place. Yeah. Brake fluid will eat away metals, paint, anything. It's some pretty nasty stuff. It's still really dark. <laughs> Should we vacuum it out before we pump it up again or just pump Good, it up? Yeah. All right, so we're just going to pump it out again just to get more of that crappy fluid that's on the top of the reservoir out. And yeah, it's coming out pretty black still. This is really disgusting. So we're basically doing the same tactic that I used to clean out my brake fluid reservoir. We're just getting all the bad stuff on top out first before we start pumping the clutch so that way we're not continuously filtering in that dirty fluid. It takes a little short if you do it like this so that way you're not having to pump it nearly as much. We used a rag to wipe out the bottom and it is literally just like black sludge. This is round two of adding clear fluid to the top of the reservoir. Still black. <laughs> it's a little bit less black. Yeah, a little bit. It's cleaned up quite a bit but still pretty dark. Oh yeah, it's much more clear. This is the this is the third time we did it. Yes. Pumped it through and it's still pretty dark. Looks a lot better. It's not nearly as black, but it's still definitely like milky, nasty. And then to dispose of it, we're just putting it in this little water bottle right here. It'd look bad when you pour it back in there. Yeah. It almost looks kind of clear. Maybe there's residual in there. Possible. Now we're just topping her off before we pump it back up. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Okay, so now what we gotta do is pump up the clutch a couple times, a couple 50 times, get that old fluid worked back up to the top and that new fluid sucked down. So I say you're gonna be pumping this clutch. What happened to your speaker cover? Yeah, you got rusty. Oh, that's not good. I think the previous owner, like when they got out in the winter or something or Oh, well, that, Water. Yeah, that makes sense. Your foot literally goes right there. And also my leg sits right there. So like sweat off your leg. Do you think it's dead skin? No, no, it's definitely sweat. All right, now for the big reveal. Let's see what this fluid looks like. Oh, it's pretty clear. Not yeah. too bad. There's some like sediment. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's a little bit of like sediment on top. So we're gonna suck this out and put in some more new fluid. Went ahead and cleaned up all the extra black stuff that's at the bottom of this reservoir here so that when we put more fluid in it, it should come out much more cleaner. But uh, yeah, actually doing the first go through it turned out pretty good. So we're gonna do one more and see what happens. Hey, we're pumping it again another 50 times. We're gonna check the fluid again and go on from there. So hopefully we get some more crap coming out because we wanna get as much of this nasty clutch fluid out as possible. So there's two ways of doing this. This is, the, this is one of the ways. The other way is to what we gotta do, take off the pans underneath, drop the exhaust, open the bleeder valve, and then do it from that, which we don't have all that stuff to do it with. We don't have ramps. Exhaust bolts are more than likely rusted on, and screw that, so we're gonna try this first. All right, we're gonna take this cap off and see what this fluid looks like. Yeah, it's a little yellow. There's still a little bit more of like the particles. I don't know if you guys camera can pick it up, but there's like particles on the top. All right, we'll suck this out. All right, now that we're all done, this that was the last pass, right? Just making yep. sure this is what it looks like when we sucked it out. So it's still a little bit yellow, but I think it's passable for a uh, clutch fluid. So now we're gonna put this dot four press tone brake fluid to top it off, and we're gonna take it for a test drive. All right, now we're putting in our good fluid on the very top. That line, right? Yep. Okay. So something we noticed when we just topped it off was there was some brown fluid from the bottom still coming up from the top. So we're gonna take this around the block and get that clutch warmed up, get that fluid warmed up, get it moving around and see if we can find some more uh, dirty fluid in the reservoir. Rest in peace, good buddy. It decided to uh, drop a valve. The valve packed its bags and went home. All right, first initial test drive. Does it feel any different? Yeah, it feels a little bit more firm and like, reacts a little bit better, but 
Let's let it get warmed up. So any difference in the clutch pedal so far? Yeah, I think it's still a little bit better reacting, but let's, it's still not warmed up enough yet. Okay. Nice little zero to 45 acceleration. And this is why tall people don't need to own Corvettes. <laughs> it's a pain in this guy, this thing. Ooh, well, my knees just popped really loud. Right, we're gonna open it up and take a look and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. She needs change. Holy oh, smoke, she definitely got a lot darker. <laughs> So I think we're gonna change it like this and maybe go another, another test drive and then pump it out again until we get this fluid all cleared out. Oh yeah. Definitely not as clear as it was. It still looks pretty good. So we put in new fluid and it rose to the top. Yeah. So warming it up is definitely a must when you're doing something like this. On fluid Exchange 5, we found a new tactic. As you can see, it's still rising up. Well, he hits the clutch. Are you pressing it? Notice how much fluid, more fluid's coming up. This is really hard to see, I know. That's a decent angle. There's a lot of glare out here today. He said more of that crappy fluid comes to the top if you just push in and out the clutch. I figured the fluid would overflow the reservoir, but it doesn't. So we're gonna do this a few times and try it again. Let's just see. gotta keep pumping it. It's leg workout. Leg day. Arm day. It's always arm day. Every day is arm day. I guess you have a manual car, every day is leg day too. Now look at that. This is from like a couple pumps and it's still coming out looking like crap. So we're gonna do this until we get some clear fluid. Flush like number thousand, but we're gonna call this good for now. He's gonna drive it for a couple days and change it out later. But yeah, that actually worked out pretty well. So what'd you think was different? You feel like the clutch was more firm? No, it was definitely quicker, I would say. Like easier to shift. So like, like when you let shift. out. There we go. This seemed to work out pretty well. If you have a C5 and you're having problems with your clutch, try and changing that fluid. It worked for us. So yeah, we're gonna call that a success. This was much better than jacking it up taking off the exhaust and doing all that extra crap. So just get yourself a Harbor Freight pump and some fluid and yeah, you can change your own clutch fluid at home. Good luck waters. I'll see you guys in the next one.